Hi, Jared and Tasha. Angela here at 495 Sombrero Beach Road to show you your new home. So come on and take a look. We're gonna go in the front door. And we locked ourselves out. <laughs> Hold on, let's go around. Okay, so now we're gonna enter through the patio. <laughs> come on in. Okay, come on in. Okay, so as you can first tell, beautiful high ceilings. There are a lot of windows up here. They have them closed off now, probably because of the western sun, but it would be really beautiful if they open those up and you have a lot of natural light. All right, so now we are in the open concept area. Kitchen right here, living room and dining area. That is the front door, the one that I just locked myself out of to come in. So that's where you would do your proper entrance. And we're gonna head back here to the bathroom. Come on in, full bathroom with a shower. Nicely done. The home is in really good condition. It is owner occupied and they did a really good job about maintaining everything and taking care of the place. Okay, so we're entering now the first bedroom, which is on the side of Sombrero Beach Road. Nice windows in here. They are not impact windows. They do have accordion shutters. We'll talk about that when I'm on the outside of the property. It looks like it's a full bed, but it could fit a queen bed as well. Closet space over here. Now we're entering the second bedroom. Also on the side of Sombrero Beach Road. Closet space here. And once again, maybe a full bed, but you have space in here for a queen bed. Here you have a stackable washer and dryer unit. All right guys, come with me. We're gonna go upstairs, take a look at the other bedroom. You are in the upstairs bedroom and private bathroom up here. Plus the best part, is the balcony where you can take a look at your new build, which would be so cool. So, well, some of the trees are in the way, but there it is over there, so close. Bathroom upstairs. So right now we're in the outside patio with a screened in space, which is really nice for the noceums um, and the mosquitoes. And just so you can get a feel of the space here, Alex is at the entrance and I am in the corner over here. So a nice sized space. And the backyard obviously is really beautiful. It's open, room for a pool if you wanna put a pool in. The lot is about 12,000, almost 12,000 square feet. Home is 1,400 square feet. Beautiful canal, 100 feet wide um, canal. And then we'll go downstairs and show you the backyard and the dockage. Okay, okay so now we're gonna come downstairs. There is a working space down here and a shed. So the working space is underneath the house here. Um, you have some shade from the patio and then they have a shed over here for extra storage. Clothing line comes in handy. I don't know if this is open. It looks like it's locked, okay. That's locked. So this is the shed underneath the house. Um, as you can see, they are local. So there is a lot of stuff here, but good extra space that you always need uh, when you are here. So I, I envision this being like somewhere you can throw in all, hopefully if you put a pool in maybe one day, all your pool toys and outdoor toys and kayaks and all that fun stuff. So this is the shed that I'm coming out of now. Double carport right here, which is really great for the cars and the shade. Um, entrance of the house over here. Okay, come with me now. We're gonna take a look at the dock. It's really beautiful back here. Like I mentioned earlier, the canal width is about 100 feet wide. So it's so wide, really spacious, deep canal. The length of the dock is 55 feet. They do have a boat lift that is 10,000 uh, pounds and a lot of nice activity back here. About uh, 20, 25 minutes out to the open water. You're gonna go this direction out, make a left and then circle around. Um, we personally know because we live very close by and we. We navigate these canals. 
Okay, so here's the lift. Uh, mentioned 10,000 pounds. And really cool feature that we noticed was the step in here. A lot of people don't have this, which is really cool. So you can get right into your kayak and your, your paddle boards. Very nice. It's high tide right now, so you can see the depth of the canal here. Um, once again, 100 foot wide, which is for the keys, very, very nice, very unique. So plenty of space out here for boats and toys. Very nice. So just wanted to give you a perspective from the road. Sombrero Beach Road is right here. You have a lot of space going into the property, which is very nice because being on this road can be loud. Uh, we know because we live it and having this extra space here to get to the house, super convenient so you're not that close to the road and also helps with the sound. Um, the house is a frame house. We can talk about that later.